Hello everyone, today I'm just gonna do a quick uh, dynamo exercise to answer a request uh, from someone that was trying to do this wall with a random brick that comes in and out like this and it's going to be a very simple thing uh, I know but, but I think it's very useful and if you have uh, something that you're trying to do please feel free to comment and uh, ask if I have the time I, I may do it I apologize that I can't do it all the time but here it goes what I'm gonna do, I have just a blank project here. I have this family that I use for a lot of things. Uh, if I place one of these, you'll see that it has three parameters that you can stretch this box anyway. And um, if I array this box, I will then go on an elevation. Maybe I can increase this to 40 perhaps. So we have a bigger number. Then if I select all and array it up, this time maybe 10 times. So if I select all and ungroup, and select all again and ungroup. So this is a very simple way of placing family. So now if we look at one of these families, one of these instances, we can see that if I modify the height, it will grow up. So that's not the parameter that we want the, that we want to be changing. Uh, then if I modify this, maybe yes, it goes back. Back is good enough. But let's look this way. So if now I go to manage Dynamo and let's place this side by side because my screen is very small. I'll try to use the space the best I can. But let's start first with clicking the canvas and we want to select model elements. We want our all these and what we want to do in the end is set parameter by name. So you want to set that width parameter that we found. So this width parameter of these elements with the value that we're going to figure out now. So just give it some space and if we use this code block to do something like it's starting at 500 it goes up to a thousand we will have a list stepping by one if we want it to step last times so we can say by step every 100 and we get uh, this list five from 500 to a thousand this depends on how many variations we want if you want a little bit more we can tell it to step by 50 now we want so now to feed the value here we want a list with the same number of elements as the number of elements uh, that we're feeding here so the way we do that is how many elements do we have we have to check we need to get that number and we see that we have 400 we need 400 here as well how do we do that so what I want to do is I want to divide uh, the number of elements here by the number of elements that I have here and I'll show you why uh, if I have A divided by B so this is the number of these elements the number of those elements we have to count to so it's 400 divided by 11 and we get a number there so actually what we want to do is this list to be multiplied these 11 numbers multiplied by these 36 it will eventually give you a number like that it's not just multiplying now you have to repeat the whole list that number of times so we use this note this amount of times and you get 300 if you see there 396 so not quite 400 which means that the last four elements from here will be left unnamed because we don't have enough names. So the way to go around that is I'll just give plus one here. Now we have 407, meaning that the last seven elements from here won't name every, anything. So I thought that's fine. So now we have a, a list to feed in there. If we do feed this list, we'll see automatically our panels change 
you might want to do something like this. It's quite interesting. What it's doing is that it's going through our range that we defined of variations, going gradually, of course, as the list is, was created. If we do need a random um, variation, we can use the shuffle and we would get this uh, list shuffled so it's not growing. And if we feed this to the list cycle, we now get a shuffled list that appears more random. But in reality, if we look carefully, we'll see that it's not because it's shuffling one list and then repeating the same shuffle, repeating a pattern. So this might be what you want if you want to make this a bit more buildable. But if you want to make this very unique that everyone is, is different, maybe you don't want to shuffle here. We can still use that list. And what we will actually want to shuffle is here. So we shuffle the whole list. And there you go. So thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>